Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and test out the Oculus Rift exclusive title, Robo Recall, and it's going to be for your HTC Vive or for your VR setup using RiftCAD, and for free as well. Robo Recall is quite possibly one of the most polished VR games available right now. The graphics are amazing, the combat is absolutely outstanding, and it just runs so well in general. But if you're like me, no matter what kind of hype you hear or see, we still want to try it out before buying it. But sadly, there is no demo for this and it was only available for free to people who got the Oculus Touch. Everybody else has got to drop about 40 bucks just to see if they like it or if it runs on their computer without any option of a refund from the Oculus Store. Now that's brutal and I wasn't ready to roll the dice. But luckily there were some crafty people that figured out a way to get testing it and play the game to some extent before actually buying it. But before we get going on the install, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, take a moment to look down and click that subscribe button now. I have plenty more VR hacks and content on my channel with lots more to come in the future. Alright, so let's get to the install. First, download the links from the description below. This will be your Epic Games Launcher and Revive. Revive is a program that will allow you to play Oculus Rift games on your HTC Vive or on your RiftCat VR setup. Now install the Epic Games Launcher in the default location. Once that's complete, this window will open up and then you can install the Unreal Engine. Again, you can just download and install that into the default location. Then we'll click on modding at the top, then we'll click on Robo Recall on the left hand side. Once that's finished, you can click on the great big install button here and then let the entire game load. One note here, this is a 22 gigabyte download, so there is some pretty serious content here for a VR game. Rarely do we ever see VR games larger than even one gigabyte, so this is going to take a little time. Now let's just skip ahead a little bit to the end of the download. Once the download's completed, it'll take a few moments to install and then do its verification. After it installs, close down everything. Looking back in your downloads folder, we still have that revive download. Now would be a good time to get that installed. Just double click it and let it install with defaults. Now for RiftCat users, this is where you'll need to start up your RiftCat and PS Move service as you normally would. You'll need to now open up SteamVR on its own. Then go down to your system tray and right click on the revive icon and then select patch. In the browser window, you'll need to navigate to Program Files, Epic Games, Robo Recall Mod Kit, Robo Recall, Binaries, and Win64. Then you can select the Robo Recall Win64 shipping file. You won't get any notification that it's done, but as long as you don't see any errors, you should be fine. Now you can close down Steam VR, and for ease of use, we'll go back along the same previous path in the Windows Explorer, and once we hit Robo Recall U Project, right click it, and then create a shortcut. This will be the only thing you'll need to double click for now on to play. So now we can double click that project file and wait for everything to load up. You will notice SteamVR starts up automatically now. Once the editor is loaded, you'll see the mod screen, but you can just close that for now. In here, all you need to do is click on the play button and it should start right up in VR and you can get playing the first level. Well there you have it. We're up and running and ready to start recalling Rogue Robots. Now playing this game for no longer than 10 minutes made me realize I definitely need to buy this game. And I will definitely be doing that pretty soon. Also, if you're a RiftCat user using the PS Move service, you definitely need to look into getting the Navi controllers. It makes this game so much better. And I've got an install guide for that as well on the card in the top right of your screen. That's about it for now, but make sure you tune in next time for my full gameplay walkthrough of the first level of Robo Recall using RiftCat and the PS Move service. Before checking out my other content you see here, be sure to leave the video a like and don't be afraid to share it with others so they can try this next gen VR game out for free as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.